Finance Committee for November 9th. Um, Mr. Jones? Here. Mr. Gwaltney? Here. Mr. Alamon? Here. Ms. Smith? Here. And Mr. Harden? Here. All present, you have a quorum. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take a minute to read over the, the minutes. Any questions? Is there a motion to dispense with the reading of those minutes and approve the minutes? So Sorry. moved. Second. And moved by Mrs. Smith, second by Mr. Harden. Any questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed by the same sign? It's five to zero. Is anybody here for a certain item in the audience? I don't, I don't see anybody. Okay, we're gonna start at the top then. Uh, 240820 request to make changes to the city's resolution regarding city contributions to retiree insurance and add a monthly stipend for single and family. Uh, Mr. Squires, you, you've been working on this and along with the, the two chiefs. So you have a report for us? Or? Yes, sir. Okay. I think what we ended up in looking and Robert, you, you're here, and Melody. Our proposal, I believe, if you look across the board at the numbers, and Melody, help me if I'm wrong here, we believe 55 is about as low as we can take the, the age at this point. Okay. And I'll, I mean, the cost of, of getting people that are below that just, I mean, it drives it, you know, with basically looking every year at a 5% increase across the board on that thing. So I know uh, both the chiefs and I met and discussed it, and we're, we're all three good with that. I think one of the only questions or desires we kind of wanted to get feedback from you guys on was did we want to – our thing would be to do it this one time right now and then give us the opportunity as things move along to kind of see where things go from here but offer it as a one-time deal. I think our question that, that – uh, and – both the chiefs agreed is do we maybe do a cutoff of say june instead of going all the way to september 30th and if you want to take this opportunity to do it then we'll do it before we go to turn in our budgets to the mayor so that we know where we're at or if you guys if it's the council and the mayor's wishes to take it till september 30th that's fine as well but our kind of thinking along was that it's a it's a small window for those that want to take advantage of it that are 55 or older with the at this point in time and then go from there and and, and take it till maybe june and then that way we know budget time if there's going to be some changes or not would that allow y'all time enough to look at how many people had opted to do it and then kind of analyze that in I, terms I'm, of I believe it will. If we, if we go, if we move forward with this, I believe it'll give them what it's November now. So you basically gonna have December, basically until the first of June. You know, estimating on the numbers, I think that Melody and, and Robert ran. You know, we're probably looking at anywhere from maybe eight, ten to twelve people that you know are eligible and probably will look at doing this and all. So I I believe that's ample enough time, Chief. Y'all different on that opinion and what what's what were the amounts that you were I think for the uh, family? for the Robert did you use 200 and 500 yeah 200 on single and 500 on family would be the the uh, the offering of this one time and hey Brooklyn did y'all decide it was 55 to 62 yes. that, they, that you had to be between 55 and 62 and retire by now you're saying June 30th well, or whatever, or whatever they say, but yeah, I mean, whatever the council. If you're 63, design. then you're not eligible. So it's just from those ages. Well, I mean, you know, I, I thought it was going to be 55 to, to the 60, 65, basically. I, mean, I know, but I mean, if you're 63 right now, yeah, you can't do this. But yeah, that's right. But you, if whoever does this is going to take it out till they're 65. That's correct. Yeah. Yes. 200 for single and 500 on family. And you have estimates, don't you, Mr. Burgett? Yes. Uh, yes, sir. The, the annual cost per year is $121,224 for the city. 
and the lifetime cost till the employees reach 65. And this is without factoring in an increase, it's 648,384. I think, I think. And there's uh, actually nine people that are eligible if that's all nine days. Mr. Okay. Jones, don't we have that number in our budget? No, no sir. No, sir. No, sir. about the budget. I remember the number. Okay. We we did. We just yeah we just didn't know. But basically, was look at it. What would be the, the, the overall savings. goal of the program is to save yeah. money over yeah. time. Um, yeah, I mean, just need to. Uh, I just Berkeley. Go ahead. If you, I can see how they got people probably lined up to come into the police department, the fire department. You're going to lose some some employees. Are you also knowing that? You got this period of time to rehire. Is that is that? How, how do you see that? I mean, most of us, uh, most of the positions you've got that are eligible for these, are people that you've got somebody that's in line to move up the ladder on these okay. things. Yeah, okay. I probably have the least amount compared to these two guys because I've got a, a laborer or two in there. But again, that's a that's a job we have to just go out and and pull from that you know off of a application list. So. They're going to have that. I mean, it, it really affects them probably more than it does me. And I think I've got one skilled laborer that's classified position that's that may be eligible for it and all. So, but other than that, I mean, it's really, and then it's basically the next man up from, from that position below. I guess I have a question in terms of, like, the cost versus uh, estimated savings. And all. Robert, what was the estimated savings of doing the nine? Uh, I can't walk and see at the same time. $23,508 in salary, and his cost is going to be $21,000. So it's kind of a wash within his department, but he's able to, you know, to hire in at a lower rate. The, the big saving comes with the, uh, the fire department and with the police department because they're able to, um, well, actually, kind of papers um, yeah that yeah the first year was 100 and 200 sure yeah that'd be great well I, I you know in the in the fire department the um, their lifetime, or not lifetime, their eight-year savings on this is $651,000 just in the fire department. And the city's overall cost. But that went all the way down to 53. That was, well, this was, uh, that's right, because it's five years on the, so I'm on the right side. If you look at the back, the next to the last page, it has Five-year savings, savings, yeah. On the second to the last page, the total savings. Of course, this was a this was based over a nine-year period, so that's the savings per per person. On your your far left column, though, is that's a five-year period. Yeah. That's six hundred eleven thousand, mm -hmm. and and that the fire department alone covers the cost of the retirement. So everything that police saves and and Bert, that's just that's savings to the city. And I'd be honest with you, police was a, such a sliding scale, and I couldn't come up with the number, even though the chief did provide me. The, those that were um, retiring uh, or, or potential to retire. So just fire alone covers the cost of the additional insurance expense to the city. And uh, Mr. Harden, it, it was not budgeted, but I don't think that it would be new money because it would be a transfer from salaries mm -hmm. to retiree health insurance. Let me, can I just say one thing about yeah. the this is the first I've heard about reducing the eligible age or actually uh, increasing the eligible age from 50 to 55 and then also um, asking these eligible employees to make the decision between now and June. Um, my only question would be, Robert, I don't have the dates of birth uh, with me from my department on the people uh, whose names I sent you last week, but I would hate for us to potentially exclude somebody that might turn 55 from June to the end of the fiscal year. Uh, I don't know that that would be 
a case with, with one of my employees because uh, the, the list I provided, Robert, was for people from 50 years old uh, through 62. So that would be my only reservation and, and changing that window from the end of the fiscal year back to uh, June of 2021 that we wouldn't eliminate somebody. I mean, I just, I just don't think, um, I mean, 50 is, I mean, it, it that's 15 work. years. It, 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 at 50 years, you just we can't. ran the numbers, it was 2.6 no, no, million. No, I wasn't million. talking about 50. Yeah. I was talking, if somebody's 54 now. Yeah, I, I no, get no, what you're yeah. saying. No, oh, yeah. no, and that's fine. I, again, that was just a, a thing we looked all, at. Yeah, just that's say. an easy fix. I yeah. mean, we, we okay. can we yeah. can make yeah, that it part, decide right. by June, and if, yeah. if you're if you turn that's 55 fine. by the end of the yeah. even the calendar year, yeah. you, okay. you'd be eligible. Yeah, but, but the, that's the, how the 50 financially just there's no way you can't yeah. do it. So I think that's uh, something so, that we you know publicize. So, yeah, if you're going to turn 55 this year or, or in 20. Yeah. 21 then you're okay. eligible and yep. let us know by the end of June or something like that. Okay. That's right. Very good. Yeah. That works. Okay. So, um, well, I'll, I'll, it sounds like they've done a lot of work and we've carried this over several times, but you know, I know we have new members of the council and if, if you need, they need time to yeah, review this fine. for our next meeting, I'm fine with that. Uh, or I'm fine with, uh, moving forward and, um, uh, with what's been proposed. Why don't we, with everybody, with the note, why don't we just, I mean, don't we, we meet again next month. We can carry it until next Monday. Yeah, yeah, let's just, I'd say carry it over to next Monday, give them okay. a chance to review if they got any questions and, yeah, and, you know, <laughs> we, we haven't got anything to I shouldn't be enough of a fortune teller to let Mr. Kendrick. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. Kendrick, I mean, I thought yeah. he could. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, just wait, if, if that's, that's good, if that pleases the council. That's what we are meeting tonight, so. Yeah. Let's not, so that's right. So let's not entertain that at all. Thank y'all very much. We were still crunching it on Saturday, so that's why we can't. I know. <laughs> okay. Well, a good plan. If there are any questions, please let them know. Let me know. We'll we'll get those answered for you. Um, if you can send out the spreadsheet, that that would be helpful. Um, we can kind of look at that. Um, we're trying to become more paperless, as as we've talked about. Um, Okay, so without objection, we're going to carry that over 240820. So you don't have to prepare anything, Mr. Kendrick. <laughs> 02. I, don't know what I know, exactly. Uh, we don't know either. Uh, 021020, a bid opening uh, November 30th. Uh, so we'll carry that over for that bid opening. Uh, 051020, a request for final amendments to uh, 1920 budgets. I've been asked uh, by Mr. Burgett to carry this over. Still working on final amendments to that. 06-10-20, uh, request to amend 2021 budgets for any encumbrances. Also a carryover, working on those final numbers. We should have those soon. Uh, moving into new business, 18-10-20, request to uh, declare following item surplus. And uh, those were sent out. Hopefully you got those. Uh, Let's see. Uh, I just sent them to you. Okay, oh, okay. I, I thought they went to everybody. I just sent them to you. I'm sorry. Everybody. Um, I know, but it was like a explanation for what they were. Okay. Um, let me let me see if I can find. It. The, these are. Do you have a copy you could share with everybody, or let me, or can you forward that to everybody? Uh, these are surplus yeah. vehicles that we we're going to have to uh, basically prepare an, an ordinance uh, to declare these vehicle surplus are very old. They're uh, at the end of their life and they've been recommended by Mr. James to uh, declare them surplus and I apologize, this didn't go out. I, um, I can forward them to you, um, your emails, but there was basically like the police department had the Crown Vic and it said it's age and mileage um, that the, the repairs are, are more than what they, they need to keep. Police don't want to keep an inventory. The charger, uh, same thing, um, and the heister lift truck, because of its age, repairs, and safety issues, it's being replaced in this year's budget by a new forklift truck approved by council. And he checked with other department heads to see if any of the units could be used, or that unit could be used by them, and no. And then, I think the heister lift truck was also a surplus. Okay, and, and let me just read. Let me just read off some of these so you'll have them. Um, the 2010 Crown Vic. Um, it has 160,000 miles on it because of its age and mileage repairs. You just said that. The uh, Dodge Charger, did you say the mileage? 180,000. 
um, and that's that's a lot for a Dodge Charger. And then fleet maintenance, uh, the new forklift truck will be approved. Let's see. This unit is being replaced in this budget. Okay, so that that'll be replaced in this budget year. The the heister lift truck. I, I just sent it out to you that email. Okay. So, can do it, so anyway, um, that's the uh, recommendation from Mr. James. I would the, I would move that we declare these items surplus. Okay. Moved by Mrs. Smith. Second. Uh, second by Mr. Alamon. Is that you? Oh, oh, Mr. Gwaltney, sorry. Got to peer through these masks. Um, okay, any other discussion on that? Um, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed by the same sign. Okay, five to zero. That'll be going to council tonight, Mr. Wyatt. Ordinance. And Mr. Kendrick has it ready. Uh, 191020. Uh, request authorize the mayor to sign amendment to the contract with Tyler Technologies for additional CAD export interface. Chief Hill. Okay, we're going to come back to him. 2010-20. Uh, request authorize the mayor to sign agreement with Kimley Horn for engineering services. Uh, Mr. Pugh, is he? Yeah, well, it includes, I don't know if it's anything in, in, in addition to, but it does include the Hollywood study. But I don't have a cost on it. Okay. Mr. Burgett, you were going to ask Mr. P for this information, weren't you? Yes, sir. What he is asking is that the council uh, sign an agreement that allows him, in the event that emergency services or services are needed uh, after Greg Cobb's retirement, that he can have, uh, I guess the correct term would be like an open agreement so he doesn't have to come to council every time he needs our services after Greg Cobb's retirement. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah but he, I don't have a copy of the agreement. Um, Mr. Jones, we yes. already have a contract in place, I thought, with Kimley Horn. That's for the uh, that's no, this would be for, for contract engineering services as a whole. Oh, did it? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know. It, it might have expired by now, but we had an on-call contract in, contract in place from years ago where we, they could come and do, I mean, site review. Um, I mean, just about anything in, in the uh, engineering department. So, but it likely has expired. But the the rate scales are in there and everything, so that we know what to pay them. I did ask um, Mr. Pugh if there was any any dollar amount to this contract, and and he said there was not. It was like on a uh, on a per needed At basis, the, the contract didn't, re, you know, request a specific dollar amount. But it's it's to have it to have it on on record, so he doesn't have to come back to council every time they're needed. So you well, think there's a blank line? You know, now, now that I'm thinking back, it probably wasn't with Kimley Horn. Okay, it was with uh, it was with Volker, and now Volker is Kimley Horn. Horn but I would think that that's the contract that we need to do in this case because it allows us to have those services at a set rate, but then we use the line item that's in the budget for engineering services, yes. you know, and pre with pre-approval, so he doesn't have to come to us every time for approval. Correct. Well, I don't have any to get that. Yeah, the contract yeah, updated. Yeah, I, 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 he did, I asked if he could have one, but I didn't. Um, okay. Um, so let's copy. carry this over without objection. We'll get a copy of the, the agreement. Um, um, Mayor, do you... Are you okay with that? Mayor. Mayor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, that's no problem. I just wanted to yeah. let you know for the Kimley Horn, we're going to carry that over until we get the agreement, let you review it. Okay. Let, let me know if you have any questions on it. Okay, I appreciate it. Okay, President no problem. I yes. I just wanted to reference that looking at what came out Friday, uh, the resolution, you know, proposed resolution with Kimley Horn. After that, as in Exhibit A, there is a, a proposed contract or agreement. I just wanted to reference that. Okay. So we may have something already to look at. Okay. Did it have rates on it? But you want us to get rates because I don't know if they have rates on it. I, I, I just don't think everybody's had a chance to okay. review it. So we're, we're going to carry it over. Okay. Uh, Okay, so we'll carry that over till our next meeting. We'll get that taken care of because I agree with it in principle. 
21020, a uh, request to review new lighting at Windsor, uh, Manchester. I know I mentioned that I was going to ask you to drop this. Um, I, I've got one more neighbor I want to check in on on this, if that's okay. Can you just carry that over for me? Carry it over? Yeah, okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, we'll carry that over. Okay, and uh, let's go back to Chief Hill, 191020, authorized mayor to sign amendment to contract with Tyler Technologies for CAD export. And th this is guy. this is a budgeted item. Uh, you're just requesting. This so this is time. actually going with our CAD upgrade that we started last year. This yeah. is an additional export interface. We're going to take it out of maintenance contracts that will allow us to export data from the new CAD system over to the company we use called First Response 91. That data then goes to our private ambulance company, which is who responds. So this is just an addendum to that contract, the original contract for an additional CAD export. It's budgeted. It is in maintenance contracts. Okay. Okay. It's in maintenance contracts. Okay. Yes. Sir. Any questions? Yes, sir. Um, I would move to approve the item. Okay. Uh, move by Mrs. Smith, second by Mr. Qualtner. And Mr. Kendrick, do you have everything you need on this one? Yes. Sir. Okay, perfect. Um, it's been moved and seconded. Any other questions? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed by the same sign. That's five to zero. Okay, last time 221020. Question can reconsider capital purchase for body cameras and amend the 2021 capital project budget. Um, do we have anything on this, Chief? As you know, we were allocated $85,000 in our capital budget to buy body cameras. Uh, we made an initial request that was considerably higher, uh, sort of in the 11th hour of our budget uh, request process. Um, we reduced that. Uh, from that initial request to $85,000, which is what we've been allocated right now. Uh, one vendor that we explored, um, a company called Axon, some of our neighbors use them, and we discovered that we could certainly cover the cost with what we've been allocated in our capital budget, but we could not um, cover the cost for the storage for the data that we capture. So. We've gone back to work and checked with a couple of other companies. We're in the process right now of testing and evaluating some body cams from a, uh, another company called, called ProLogic. We can purchase, currently we can purchase body cameras and the devices in which they're charged and other hardware uh, for $75,000, which is obviously $10,000 um, under what we budgeted. But um, it would require the police department to budget next fiscal year $33,000 a year for storage for this data that it captures. Um, obviously, I'm hesitant to spend that capital money this year if, um, if the council is, is not willing to consider um, perhaps having that additional budgeted item to store this data uh, going forward uh, at about the rate of $33,000 per year. Uh, starting in in fiscal fiscal year 2122. Uh, they would they would want us to they would want us to sign a contract from three to five years, like most companies. Is that the maximum? Yeah, three years. So okay. So yes, yes, ma'am. About a three-year contract, which would begin in our next budget year, not this year, but our next budget year. So. What, where would the storage costs be paid out of this year? It would come. Uh, uh, it would be included in the seventy-five thousand dollars in which we would buy the um, hardware, okay. the actual capital items, and they would include the storage this year. Um, I guess as a courtesy of us doing business with them, and then we would have to contract with them going forward to store that data in subsequent um, fiscal years. Chief, uh, 
just a quick question in terms of the original company, how much was data storage with that company? Yes, sir, good question. It was 85,000 per year with Axon. Wow. Um, so we have managed to explore some other vendors and we're, like I said, we're currently testing uh, Pro, ProLogic's equipment to see if we even like it. Uh, I've, I've been given good reports thus far. We have three officers wearing their equipment right now on a test basis, one on each shift. Um, we've consulted some of our neighboring agencies that are using this company and they're happy with them. Um, but that's, that's what we're looking at right now in terms of going forward using this technology. Obviously when we capture data, which we will be, we have to have a method of storing it and, um, and then going back and researching it and, and, and making it available. Um, I believe the state law requires us to store it for six months. So that is the um, really, a, uh, that's the most concerning aspect of investing in this, in, in this technology is the storage going forward. I would think, Chief, we're going to need to keep it longer than that, wouldn't you, in six months? Yes, sir. And in, in fact, this company case. that we're um, dealing with right now, they believe they can offer us unlimited storage. So um, I was just, you know, briefing you on what the state law is, but um, it looks like this company is, is going to offer us, because of our size, the ability to store an unlimited amount of data for that price. Is that a hundred thousand dollars then that we would be really looking at? In other words, three years at thirty-three thousand a year. Yes, sir. So, so we get the first year. We pay, pay seventy-five thousand dollars this year to get the program up and running, and then we would pay about a hundred thousand dollars going forward uh, for the right. next three years to store the data. So it's a four-year, one hundred seventy-five thousand dollar commit. I believe, Mr. Kendrick, I believe this this vendor is available to us on one of the GSAs on one of the con government uh, contracts. If not, we would we would definitely have to bid it. All right. Well, I would say we probably need to look look at that, finish your due diligence with the testing, and then look on the get with Mr. Kendrick to make sure we're we're lined up with the, with the bid law, <coughs> um, and then I guess come with a recommendation next time. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Thank you. Uh, uh, Capital Jays, I'm sorry, I had to step out for the Chief Hill item. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not. Uh, could you tell me who's the first and the second? On uh, the um, 19, 10, 20? Yes, sir. Uh, five to zero, uh, moved by Mrs. Smith, second by Mr. Gwaltney. Five to Mr. zero. Okay, so, thank the, you, so the only items uh, we have uh, sending to council are 18, 10, 20, and 19, 10, 20. Yes, sir. Everything else uh, will be carried over. Okay, and with that, any other items that anyone wants to bring up? Okay, then we're adjourned. <laughs>